it is the fifth day of August 2017 and I think the word great now everybody can does know that it is moon re uh, knock it off that it is moon related there it is there great America eclipse great American eclipse so maybe now you believe me that the word great is moon related it's definitely moon related trust me the Great Lakes the Great Nor'easter everything Great America the the theme park Great America okay okay well I've been taking a look at this eclipse and I, I mean right from the start I, I thought you know this is interesting because I know what the moon has done to basically shape the entire continent of every continent on the planet but America especially I've looked at pretty close and I know that Colombia is important to America. And they say now they say the, that Colombia came from some kind of code name they used back in the 1700s. The in the UK during some kind of I don't know what it was. You can look it up why why they used Colombia. I don't remember exactly what the thing was that was going on at the time, but they say that Colombia was like a code name for America. If you want to believe that, I mean. Columbus also would be a code name for America. Columbus, to me, Christopher Columbus, the name Christopher, like Christ, basically Christopher, and I'm not trying to offend anybody, but if you can make up, if you can, <laughs> I guess this might, that might offend somebody. I won't even say it. Never mind. But anyways, I think Christopher Columbus is a fairy tale. I think I think that there was people coming over here, Europeans coming over here, and I think they, they were moving in and killing Indians way before he came, way before they announced the date that he supposedly discovered America. And when they say discovered America, think about the word discover. That means to uncover America. And I'm telling you, Columbia and Columbus, what they're trying to show me, at least, at least I see it, is that the moon is Columbia, is Columbus. Absolutely, the Cobras of Columbus. I've seen it in the weather. Trust me. So here, here's their website. You can check it out. The Great American Eclipse. They got all this stuff on here. Now I'm going to show you. I want to show you something here with this logo. This logo. This logo has Columbia's signature all over it, red and blue, with white and gold or yellow, whatever. And this is right here where this is showing this spot right here the moon with the gold around it that is Columbia basically right over Columbia Missouri and Columbia Illinois that's where this spot is showing right here Columbia Missouri or Missouri St. Louis Missouri with the arches is like the gateway they call it the gateway to it's I mean if you look up the arches of St. Louis the big arch in Google images most of the uh, pictures that will come back in the search will be pictures of the arch with the moon I mean almost all of them all of them have the moon in a picture not all I guess maybe a large percent of the images of that arch has the moon in the background because it's a moon ritual thing you know what I mean all arches are it's something to do with the arch anyways this is a Columbia logo this logo says Columbia all over it this line follows the Columbia Trail all the way across North America, or the United States, actually. I mean, it could go into British Columbia, and it would be the same thing, right? British Columbia, they have a Columbia there. Okay, so let's take a look at Google Earth here, and let me just show you what I've discovered here. And I've known this for a while, but... Okay, so the Great Lakes. I showed this recently in a video. I it might take me a while if I wanted to show you right now in this video I'd have to search for the overlays I have for this but I've already showed it in a pretty recent video on my channel you can check it out this is called the Columbia Basin this whole the whole Great Lakes system is Columbia Basin this is Lake Superior super superior the word super is a moon word remember super moon super sailor moon super typhoon Anything with the word super is moon related, basically. Superman. Okay, so this is the Columbia Basin. And if you look, if you want to find the crater that goes around this whole shape right here, that would be 
the Sea of Moscow. You just have to flip it over and overlay that crater right around the Great Lakes. And there's a crater right below the Sea of Moscow that's called, I don't remember the name of it, but it goes right over this feature on in Pennsylvania. See this round feature right here? You put that crater over the top of this, and that other crater, the rest of the crater will fit. The Sea of Moscow will fit right over this, put Superior right where the center hole is, the Columbia spot, I call it. I've showed that already, pretty recent. So you can check that out in, in my other videos. But here we go. Okay, so they say it's going to start at Government Point, but let's not be too um, picky on, you know, let's not count on it being on exactly where they say it's going to be, right? They say, there, here's Government Point. It could be anywhere in this area. They can't predict exactly its course. It's, I mean, it's days away, you know, like two weeks away. They don't know. Almost three. But if we look at the borders, turn the borders on here. <clears throat> the trails that I have marked. Okay, let's turn off the government point one. I don't, I don't think it's going to follow that trail so much as it's going to follow. Maybe this trail. This trail, I say, I just say this trail because I like it better. It has St. Helens, which my friend Bill Great just pointed out the other day that the St. Helens is the same as Celine, or something like that. I, I wasn't really clear on the understanding, but he. If he said it, I, I trust what he says. I believe what he says. He's, he's in that area where the, all the history is, and I, I believe it. So here's Columbia City in Columbia County, Oregon. Columbia County, Oregon. Wow. They have a whole county, Columbia. Okay, so let's just go across into the next state, which would be Idaho. Idaho does not have a Columbia, really. They have a Columbia High School, a Columbia Bank, but they do have silver, a big silver mine here that's related to the moon. All silver, like the silver crystal, the sil silver is re related to the moon. Like the man on the silver mountain, the song by, you know, Rainbow, Rainbow. Look at the cover, it's got the moon and it's got got the song, The Man on the Silver Mountain. Silver is moon related 100%. Okay, so here we go. We're going through Wyoming now. Wyoming, Wyoming does not have a Columbia as well. They have, but they do have Casper, which is the important spot during this eclipse that they're going to be doing the measuring of the, the amount of light coming from the moon or coming from the earth going out or whatever. Okay, so Casper what do we know? How do we know Casper? We know Casper as the friendly ghost, right? The friendly ghost, Casper, basically. If you say Casper, that's what everybody's going to relate it to. The ghost, the moon, the holy ghost, is white. When you when kids dress up as a ghost for Halloween, they are in white. That is the moon. Ghost, basically, Casper. That's moon related, if you ask me. Okay, so here here in Nebraska now. We're going through Nebraska. They do have a Columbia in Nebraska. And it's it's not right on the line, but it, they definitely have a Columbia there. A Lincoln. Okay, going into Missouri now. We have a Columbia, Missouri here. Very important area. They're gonna this is the other location where they will be doing the measuring of the light levels coming from the moon and or coming from and going out or whatever they're gonna do. But this is another important location. I'll show you why. But there's Columbia there. St. Louis, we have St. Helen up there, right? And there's St. Uh, Charles is along here somewhere. St. Charles is up here somewhere. I don't know. It's it's along this line, right on the line too, pretty close. St. Uh, Char oh, St. Charles, St. Louis, and St. Joseph is up here somewhere. And then we have Columbia. But I want to point out that the St. cities are very important and are moon related. The Saint cities are moon related. Uh, it's too much to explain, but they definitely are moon things. Columbia, Illinois, right on the line. Columbia, Missouri, pretty much on the on the line. And now we're going into Kentucky, which also has a Columbia, pretty close to the line. And we also have Tennessee, which has Columbia, pretty close to the line. It's going through all these states. And then we finish with one of the most important Columbias in the in North America, South Carolina, Columbia South. And they say it's going to go south of, you know, 
this area. But I, you know, I think it's going to follow pretty much the Columbia line. This is, I'm going to call it the Columbia line. I mean, all these states have Columbia. You can see Columbia in, in a, this is Indiana. There's a Columbus in Ohio. They don't have Columbia in Ohio. They have Columbus. That's, that's a, kind of a strange because only a couple states have Columbus and not Columbia. And I don't understand why that is, but but Columbus or Columbia, whichever way you want to look at it, Columbia being the female and or Columbus being like the male version of the word, I guess, I don't know, once sat on the earth here. It definitely sat on the earth or it was above the earth right here, very you know close to the earth. And it caused the Ice Age and it left its print on the earth. The way I see it, it had to be in contact with the earth. And it discovered, or it ascended into the heavens. It discovered America, like uncovered, moved off. And they always refer to the ships, like the the moon, the smiling moon, or the you know the crescent moon, is looked at as like a ship when it's on its side. A lot of weird things like that arch. So you know, Columbus to me is another. It's just a fairy tale to me. The whole history story, almost all of. I, I look at history as like a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> they just write it as they want it, you to know it. That's it. It's not even close to what they, what it actually happens or any of it. That's just, just the way I believe. And you can believe whatever you want. You can call me a nut. A lot of people have been lately. And I just try to be nice and just tell them, you know what? Actually, I've just been deleting their comments now. I don't even want to say anything back to those people. If they can't say anything nice, then whatever. You don't need to watch my videos you can think what you want but you don't need to comment I didn't ask you for your opinion and I didn't give my opinion about you or go to your channel and and say anything about your videos but sometimes I feel like it you know what I mean it's like you want to talk shit I will go to your channel and I will down you know downplay all your stuff too if that's what you want you know but I don't do that I don't like to do that everybody's got the right to their own opinion just keep it to yourself. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Unless it's good. Anyways, the Columbia line here. If we were to continue this line, let's just like continue it like this. We'll start here in Columbia, South Carolina. And I'm trying to get it here. There goes my memory again. Okay, if we continue this line around the planet, it goes right through here where Tycho leaves its print from the moon. Tycho from the moon leaves its print here. Oh, I just ended the line. Oh, let's start again here. I'll start here. It goes through this area, and then it goes... Let me just go all the way around the whole planet and stop it so that it... Oh, you didn't. Okay, it didn't. Hold on a second. Why is it flipping there? Oh, hold on. Let's start over. Uh, we'll start over. Oh, I can't go all the way around. Okay, so it's just going to flip where the other side of the planet is from South Carolina. Which is, uh, let me just put, put it this way. Let's just go this way. It goes right through the former North Pole of the Earth, which is Australia, basically. I know, you know, there's a place right here in this area of Australia that they call the North Pole. And they, it's, they make a big joke about it, like some guy just called it that at one time, so the name stuck. But there was no reason why he called it that. It just, the name just stuck because, you know... What the hell? It couldn't come up with something better than North Pole. So we'll just keep it North Pole. No. It was the North Pole. He called it North Pole for a reason. Because it was the North Pole. And this was the land down under. And you can think that it was. It means that it's below the equator or whatever you want to believe. But it's, it means the land down under literally under the other continents. Antarctica would be the land down under if, if it was going to... If you were playing by those rules... Antarctica would be the land down under. Why would it, why would Australia be the land down under? Doesn't even make sense. It was literally the land down under. Also, Antarctica 
is the same shape as Australia. It was built in the same exact place as Australia. You can overlay the two. They are the same size, same shape, same pattern. Everything is the same. They were built in the same place. Antarctica moved off the hot spot, and then Australia uplifted after that. And that's why it's red, because it was, at one time, the bottom of the melting pot, where all the heavy materials, the gold, the iron, all settled to the bottom during this melting period, like a giant volcano, and it all settled to the bottom. Well, when it uplifted, it, it brought up all that stuff, and there's gold, big gold nuggets all over Australia. And you can see the iron, in the, the iron oxide in the earth itself, right there. It was the land down under. The continents were uh, above it or built after it. It was the, It's the newest continent. It uplifted last. So that's that on that one. <clears throat> so it crosses through that. Um, it's, you know, it's just an important line. This is another place, like I said, Tycho on the moon. And I know most people that watch my videos, that they just think it's just nuts that the moon has shaped the earth. Think what you want. I mean, unless you check yourself, you, you have no idea. You can believe what they say, you can believe everything, and, and if you believe what they say and not what they show, you know, this is what they show us. You just have to look. Tycho, right here. If you look at Tycho, if you flip it over backwards, put Tycho, the crater, right there, it has a big line that comes out this way and a big line that comes out this way. Tycho goes right here. It's like, it was looked at as like the phoenix. That's why, it, you know, the the old symbolism with the phoenix rising it was the phoenix rising you can look at those uh, pre-columbian artifacts the gold ones that have like a bird they look like wings this is it it comes from this this is the same well it didn't come from this it comes from the moon but the moon created this on the earth this pattern you can see it's like a blast pattern something hitting right there or it was just above the earth and it was just pulling all all these islands up out of the ocean or whatever maybe there wasn't even an ocean there this is called the Pacific Ocean because it's pacifying basically hell on earth if there was no Pacific Ocean I mean it would just the whole world would, would explode in volcanoes the whole planet would explode in volcanoes there's some it's just pacifying what is below it's, that's what the ocean Pacific Pacify, Pacific. Got to look at the names of things. The names are there for a reason. So anyway, that eclipse I think is going to be important. Now let me show you something before I end the video. If you're still hanging in there. This is a... Oh, where is it? It's above here. Okay, so this is a picture of the weather from 2014, and I use this picture often because it's just like the best picture I have of, of the moon's lunar south pole backwards. This pattern, I'm going to show you in a minute, this pattern is exactly the same as the moon's lunar south pole, only it's backwards. That means it's... It has to be backwards. It's like a rubber stamp is backwards. When, and then you stamp it on your hand and it'll, it'll say the word in the right direction. You know what I mean? But it's backwards before, when you look at the stamp. You stamp it on your arm, then the word comes out right, right? Or whatever. Same thing. So this is the lunar south pole backwards in our weather as a super typhoon in a very important location on the Earth. Basically, they call this the third pole of the Earth. And it's funny that the moon's lunar south pole leaves a print on the third pole of the Earth. Because it was like part of the, it was the pole at one time. And what happens with magnets? Opposite poles attract, like poles repel. So like if the poles are alike like they have been, the moon's been moving away. But it does not always move away. They say that word always. Never listen to that word always. When they say the moon's always moving away from the Earth, that's bullshit. When they say that side of the moon always faces the earth that's bullshit don't let that word always come into play that's a brainwash word always even but i i mean i use it too but i'm just when i use it i'm not trying to brainwash you i'm just trying to say they always do this or whatever but when it comes to the moon it does not always move away from the earth and it does not always 
the side that faces us does not always face the Earth the way that that way. It has all sides of the moon have faced the Earth. So th this right here is the lunar south pole, and look at how large this is when I overlay the moon. Watch. This is the Schrodinger Basin. This is a flipped over image of the moon. It's backwards over the Earth. And look at it match the lunar south pole. Look at it match that weather. And it used to show every day in our weather this pattern. Is not, not exactly like this, but this pattern showed every day in our weather. Let me back it off a little bit. Check it out. How could that be anything else, people? How could that be anything else? It's not anything else, because every typhoon, and not only this crater shows over here, not only the lunar south pole shows over this area in our weather, the Sea of Moscow shows over Asia right here, too. The Sea of Moscow pattern, you know, the one that we celebrate Easter for, the one that we have the Super Bowl for, the one that we have that's... Uh, we have moon rituals all the time for where um, the one that represents Isis, the one that represents Sailor Moon and Baal and everybody. I used to call this crater right here the, the Christ Crater because it was in our weather so often. I call it the Christ Crater after I seen it in the weather like this so many times I thought to myself, damn, this crater or this weather pattern is so important. It shows in so many places, it's practically shaped the entire planet Earth. This crater, when it faced the Earth, which it had to face the Earth to leave its pattern on the Earth, must have been as important as Christ, I would say. So I called it the Christ Crater. And then, one day, I searched the Schrodinger Basin and Christ together in the search. And some weird stuff come up that I don't really understand. I can't explain. You can check it yourself. But anyway... This, what does this have to do with America? This pattern, okay, I pointed out in my last video that this is the Copernicus pattern print right here. This part right here rep, not only shows the lunar south pole, but this is Copernicus right here too. Copernicus right here next to India. I pointed that out. Well, I got that overlaid right, right over where Copernicus shows in California right here. Pretty close to it right there. So, what, it, what ends up happening is Columbia, Missouri, ends up being like right there where that center is. But you can see that this used to be also, look at the Great Lakes, the center of the Great Lakes, watch. See this spot right here? This used to be there too. This center of this, ty or this super typhoon is related, has some kind of relation to the Great Lakes right in this spot. It fits perfectly right here. You can you can actually see it. You can already see it. This is like a right here is Michigan. You see Lake Michigan right here, the shape of it right there. Has something to do with it. And you can see this part here is like this. Look at this. Look at all this area here. You can see that's the same. The Mississippi River basin, I mean you can see that that line in the weather. So it has something to do with this. I mean, that's I'm just showing you the relation. They, they all come from the same place. They, all the continents were created in the same place. So they all share these similar features because of what's below the continents that create the continents, I guess. Some, that's one way to put it, I guess, and if that makes sense. But anyways, I've talked long enough. I want to go swimming. It's kind of warm. The Columbia, the Great Columbia eclipse Columbia watch the news when you watch the American news channels watch for them wear, wearing red and blue and yellow I'm telling you watch for that whenever there's like a major earthquake event or anything like that almost 90% of the time the news anchor people will be in blue and red sitting right next to each other blue and red like police lights or sometimes they wear yellow Yellow will be thrown in there in the in the uh, like the text and stuff they have on the screen, the fonts and words and whatever. That but that'll be red and blue too. Just watch watch for that. That that means Columbia is involved in it. They own Columbia Broadcasting. I mean, they own a lot of things. Columbia Records. You think that's all private companies? Those are not private companies. Those are 
New World Order, Colombia owned, the ones that own America, Colombia, the queen without a face. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.